Virgo, welcome back to Chasey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. We're going to start out with the Tarot uh, dice here and see what's happening. Don't forget to hit the like button, support your fellow Virgos. Not only that, but it's a fantastic and free way to support these complimentary readings. I really appreciate it. Let's start digging into your energy. I'm also doing the Chasey Prism Tarot deck giveaway again. Uh, the announcement for the lucky winner will be made at the end of August. So if you want to get in on that, hit the like button, notification bell, so you'll be notified of the uh, announcement when it's made at the end of August. And put your name down below in the comment section. Let me know you're interested. doesn't matter where you're located. I will ship them for free. It's just my way of giving back and saying thank you. These are cards I designed with transformation in mind with the image you see here. Uh, this is an image artwork that I came up with. Okay, and all of the sentiments on the cards are very easy uh, for you to read. So if you're the lucky winner, I will send it to you shrink wrapped here, brand new in its own little package. Again, it doesn't matter where you're located. You check that out shacy.com if you want more information. I am going to use them in your reading for the mutual energies between you and whoever you're dealing with. So check that out, okay? All right, let's get into it. So um, we have right off the bat, there could be somebody on your pa within your past um, or past life soul to soul connection you're kind of keeping an eye on uh, somebody that uh, you want to balance things out with it could have been you know in a family situation or a commitment situation here this person may be cold distant silent towards you at this time or you them again feel free to swap the energies if it's not your energy i'm picking up it definitely could be the other person's i generally pick up the other person's energy in my readings this person is moving very slowly towards making a decision really kind of thinking about their life and what their what their true wish is okay this is somebody that is willing to take a leap towards a new deep spiritual connection and bond here they have with somebody now this could be you um with them them with you or you are you're trying to make a choice, uh, Virgo, between two different people in two different directions, or you will have a choice to make if you don't yet. I definitely feel like somebody is really trying to think logically about what choice to make here. And what's interesting, though, is we're trying to make a logical choice, but we're in a spiritual union. Um, that's kind of contradictory. Uh, spirit is saying with the fool energy here you have to be willing to take risks take chances take opportunities this is a spiritual connection you do have a choice to make and somebody's moving very very slow it's like i want success in this connection okay but at the same time we need to kind of heal and we are being guided to be true and authentic not only to ourselves but to our spiritual partner here whoever that may be for you to give equally here, okay? Uh, I do feel like someone wants to come in with the intention of commitment, but, you know, like kind of go really, really slow. Somebody wants to take it really, really slow. It's like, I don't want to mess this up. I really need to think about this because this is my wish and it's really important to me. So whether that's you or that's your person, let me know in the comment section. Let's get into the rest of it. Yeah, somebody's anxious. Somebody's wanting to speed things up. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. I'm getting anxious. I'm, I'm getting kind of um, nervous. I miss somebody. So something may have ended painfully between you and someone else. And they're regretting some of the decisions or choices they made now. And they're kind of, you know, wanting to kind of speed things up and change things here to balance things out if they weren't balanced between you and them before. They've been keeping a lot of this to themselves. They've been kind of waiting and checking up on you, I feel here, Virgo, to see what's going on with you. Again, the Six of Cups. So definitely this could be someone from your past or they're definitely feeling that deep soul-to-soul -soul connection. Two of Cups, Six of Cups. Some of you are Twin Flames. Some of you are soulmates. If you're not sure what a Twin Flame is, I'm not going to go all into it, but you can definitely go research that. We only have one Twin Flame, but many soulmates, okay? Twin Flame, let's just put it this way. It is not for the weak at heart, okay? This is a spiritual connection that you are meant to learn a lot from. Sometimes you never come together, sometimes you do, but you are definitely learning a lot from this connection, okay? But we have the Six of Wands again, okay? So <laughs> Six of Wands and Six of Cups. I am, you know, this is somebody who is determined to overcome the challenges, determined to balance things out, which is a good thing. 
This is somebody that is really trying to soul search on how to do that, how to make things right here, how to take this leap of faith with you. I want to work together with you. Three of Wands. They're waiting to work together with you. They could be talking to other people here as well about your connection and trying to figure out, you know, what is the best recourse of action, okay? Because I want to balance things out. So we've got the Six of Pentacles twice here. And we've been like stuck bound and tied to a way of thinking or another situation or a person. And we're really heartbroken here. Now, the lovers indicates that there's a choice between two directions or two different people. So some of you are going to have that choice to make. Or maybe they're making that choice presently here. And you're kind of wondering what's going on. You're trying to figure it out here. Um, this person is moving very, very slow. Okay, this is celebration, happiness, good times here. Um, I could be, you know, you could be stuck between deciding between two people or two paths, or again, they are. It's been heartbreaking here. You know, it's kind of like I've got, I've got my hands in too many pies here because I'm giving to everybody else. I don't have a lot of time here. I'm getting anxious. I'm waiting. So somebody's definitely waiting. There could be a water sign waiting for you, a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer. Uh, this is somebody who could be highly intuitive, very gifted here, um, almost psychic. They could be waiting for you or trusting their intuition as on whether or not to wait for you. They feel stuck, maybe bound and tied to you. Maybe they feel like, you know, because you've already got this spiritual connection. I can't, they can't just forget about you. You can't just forget about them. And it's, it's like they're keeping an eye on you or you, them, or both of you here waiting to kind of see, you know, what's going to happen here. Should I take this leap of faith? What should I do? You know, there's uh, definitely silence going, OMG, we've got the Six of Pentacles three times. Three times, Virgo, the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so this is like, I really want to balance things out. I really want to make things right. But I'm right now, it's like I'm stuck. I'm waiting. I'm heartbroken. Somebody's heartbroken over you having to wait, having to make decisions here. Um, yeah, oh my gosh, the Six of Cups again. Wow, this is incredible. Wow, this is definitely like I'm thinking about you. I'm sweet on you. I'm heartbroken here. I can't stop thinking about you. Our situation, I, I want things to be real and authentic here. You know, I want to heal things. I want to make things right, but I'm stuck. So somebody's really heartbroken. They really want to move forward towards you. They see you for commitment in the future here. We got the chariot and the hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus. So if things haven't been balanced between the two of you, they definitely want to make things right here for the future, or you do. What is going on for Virgo's person of interest? Now we're coming to work in the future. What is going on? What does Virgo need to know about the person of interest? Okay, you are their wish. We've got the Nine of Cups here in the Tarot Dice, and we've got the Nine of Cups here in their energy. So they're really thinking about you, their wish, or you, them, or both of you here. Clarify the Nine of Cups. Okay, they want to offer you this pentacle. Okay, so this Knight of Pentacles is moving ever so slowly towards commitment, wanting commitment for the future here with you here. They've been doing a lot of soul searching about this. This could have been somebody you're already in a commitment, married to, or that's what they're seeing for the future, and they want to heal the situation if you were already uh, divorced or whatever the case would be. King of Cups again, look at that. Look at that. Some of you are definitely dealing with somebody that has a lot of love in their heart for you. Okay, they're coming in slowly here. Um, but again, you know, pre-shuffle, they're getting anxious. They're trying to figure things out here. So maybe you cut them off or you cut them out or you're not talking to each other right now. Or there's just a period of silence between the two and they want to balance things out. They're trying to figure it out now. Okay, yeah, they definitely want success in your connection. They want to move things forward. They want to overcome the challenges. They want to come in and they want to romance you. They want to spend time with you here. They want to make things right, okay? Uh, this person is single, financially stable, independent, or they're looking at you this way. They're looking at you as the cat's meow. Yes, they are. Okay, they're worried that, you know, that you might refuse them. Um, that you might, you know, say, no, I'm not interested, uh, this is definitely somebody who has been unhappy without you, let's say. Uh, it's dawning on them now that they're not happy being single, that they 
they they want to change things with you they're heartbroken without you they want to reunite with you for some of you here just as i said that so we have the three of cups twice the six of pentacles three times and the six of cups twice you you know this person is on your mind 24 7 or vice versa or both of you here um this may be quite shocking to you you know they may just suddenly come in towards you here with that fool energy look at that just as i said that omg look at that they're anxious they're thinking about how to hurry up and come in like it's dawning on them that you know like i really want to be with you i really want to balance this connection out and you know i'm i'm not happy being single or i'm not happy where i am so if there's any kind of distance here they're realizing you know i, I need to to open up here i need to make things right i need to figure this out here in order to have this this celebration this happiness this get together this love um, they absolutely have a lot of love for you here they're just they haven't been showing it uh, because they felt stuck they weren't sure exactly how to make things right with you how to heal your connection okay this could involve family there may have been justice or legal issues here for some of you as well with the justice here and so they've had a lot on their plate okay but they definitely see you as their queen of pentacles. That's somebody who's marriage material. Either you were already married to this person um, and things went wrong and they want to make things right. Or, you know, uh, they see marriage or commitment with you in the future. This person's tired of being single. Let's see what's happening. What are the mutual energies? So this is a Shacy Prism Tarot deck that's in the giveaway okay so again hit the like button notification bell subscribing is free as well leave me a comment down below let me know you're interested end of august is when i will do the draw so at the end of the day you both want a stable connection you both want something long term that's going to stand the test of time and that shows here with the queen of pentacles that popped up as well some of you are definitely going to reunite rec reconcile here here you're thinking about each other here all the time okay you're both highly intuitive here, okay? And you're both going through a period of stress and depression over making decisions and choices, okay? But there is definitely an undeniable spiritual connection between you and this person. And this person has a lot of love for you and they want to move things forward towards commitment. They love you. They want to spend time with you is what I'm seeing here, okay? So they want to start something new with you. So if it's a reconnection, they want to start over. If it's a brand new connection, they want to get it off the ground and they're anxious. Either way, they are anxious. Let's get our love guidance and advice message for Virgo. What is the love guidance and advice, uh, advice message for Virgo? Remember, whenever you hear these messages is when you're meant to hear them and it's for anybody with a Virgo placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I highly encourage you to know your other placements, to check the playlists under Shacey Tarot when you click on it and go check that out. You can go to astrosofa.com to find out what your other placements are. It's free and it's easy to calculate. Intimacy. Ask yourself if it's possible to build more depth into this relationship. There needs to be a healthy balance of physical, emotional, and spiritual intimacy for this relationship to endure. This connection needs to be beyond the physical aspect and more than just an intense physical attraction. So there's a very deep, special bond here between you and this person. And Spirit is saying, you need to come together. You need to spend that time together in order to have success. So I feel like that's what your person is trying to do. They're trying to come in towards you because the King of Cups isn't somebody that openly expresses how they feel. They come towards you slowly. They're careful with their emotions. They trust their intuition. Uh, this person definitely wants to overcome the challenges with you, if there is any. Um, I do feel like there has been previous heartbreak. So they would like to say that they feel guilty for that. Okay, so if they weren't balanced before, they weren't talking to you with the King of Swords here, maybe they took too long with the Knight of Pentacles, they're feeling guilty for that, okay? And they're very sorry that they triggered you and hurt you and broke your heart, okay? But they wish they could go back in time and they wish that they could change things with you, okay? And they feel like you both have most definitely soul-to-soul -soul recognition here and they don't want to let that go, okay? So they want you to know that they're making plans. They're trying to figure it out. And it definitely is showing here that they want to bring to light here that they feel like, you know, you could definitely take this relationship to the next level, that you can balance things out, that they can make things right, okay, that they have been doing a ton of soul searching about your connection. And 
they are now anxious to do that, to make things right with you. That's what I've got for you, Virgo. I hope this resonates for you. I will see you in another week. I thank you again. And don't forget to leave me comments. Let me know how this resonates for you. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.